Well, hello, my lovely friends. It's Tuesday, and I am bringing you a layout that is for Freckled Fawn Friday. And I did have the Crepe Paper Love Collection, and I just took my silhouette, and I think this die cut is one that I've had for a while. But I just cut out all these lovely X's and O's, and I've used this particular die cut a couple of times, so I just love it. I think it's super cute. And I grabbed some gelatos and tried to kind of just have some fun with the colors that match the paper that it was trimmed from, from blah, 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 from. <laughs> and I'm just kind of doing a mixed media background and I did gesso this after I glued the die cut down and I'm just kind of having fun. Just finger painting here. Some I smudged in, some I added water. And I really like how this layout came out. It's soft and it's sweet and it's a picture of my daughter and her boyfriend. So it's True and Colby. I did use a couple of different shimmers products to match the colors the best I could. I believe the first one was Cold as Ice. I think I'm going to use Pretty in Pink. This one is Oh Say Can You See. And I'll also use No Yoking and Hermit the Frog, I think, are the ones that I use. Oh, and the Mango Tango. Mango Tango. The edges did curl a little bit, but that's just because I wasn't patient enough to let it dry overnight with something heavy on top, but it didn't work too, too bad. And I am just taking some of my scraps, as I do, and layering up the back of the picture. And as you can see, it does. it is a picture with a Snapchat filter on it so they look like they're wearing a crown of flowers and that is my oldest daughter she's so lovely little doily added to the mix for femininity because who doesn't love doilies and I did add a couple of other little scraps from that uh, crepe paper love collection but mainly you're gonna see me add a bunch of freckled fawn after these scraps get put on So, as you can tell, Colby doesn't really like his picture taken. <laughs> he doesn't really smile, um, but True does. She's used to it. Of course, she was raised by a scrapbooker, so she really has no choice. The little cluster that you see up there that um, I was about to add, and I will add to this layout, was one that I did in a video where I just played with a bunch of my freckled fawn and embellies and made little ready-to-go clusters and I think that works out very well on this layout and it makes it really quick. The Lots of Love was from a cut apart from the Crepe Paper Hello and I just fussy cut that out and that will be my title. Sometimes those are kind of hard to cut out but you just have to have patience and little fine tip scissors. I always like to glue everything down really secure, adding a little bit of thread to add to the mix that's just a pink, and I think it goes really well with that pretty and pink color. Add a little bit of that messy, messy tangled thread, I like that. Thank you, Missy Widden. <laughs> she always adds that and gave me that inspiration. So here I've got just some random Freckled Fawn Kit products, um, little leather tabs. This is a metal um, wreath that is super fine and dainty, super cute. I've got to weigh it down though or it won't stay. There's that cluster of embellies that I made a while back and I did have a video on that, how I made little clusters. This is an, an acrylic. Um, house and I can't remember if I keep it or not. I think I do, but I think it goes towards the bottom if I recall. I don't have the layout in front of me so I apologize. 
But yeah, I just, I'm really getting a lot of use out of my Freckled Fawn products doing this every single week. I usually do three or four at a time because I know what product I'm working with and I'm pulling from my stash of Freckled Fawn kits and it just makes everything go so quick once you do the background and the um, layering of the picture. It just comes together super duper fast. So I'm enjoying doing this series, series for you. Um, hopefully you like it too. Of course, the glitter white arrows, the button, and the enamel dots are all freckled fawn. The little wire camera that is like a yellow is also freckled fawn. The cluster's freckled fawn, and I think that wraps it up. Yeah, I'm done. See, it just comes together so quick once you do the background. So hopefully you are done diving into your stash of kits and being able to use them up, whether it's Freckled Fawn or Citrus Twist or Hip Kits, whatever it might be. But, you know, it's fun to make sure that you stay on track and do this at least once a week so you can feel like you're getting the best use out of your products. And I usually do about three or four in a week for Freckled Fawn. And that way, I mean, I'm not a like a design team member or anything. I just do it so that I can make sure they're edited and uploaded and ready to go for you and like I said once you start diving in you really know what you have and it makes it easier to work with so I hope you like it and I will talk to you later ta-ta for now bye